In the last lesson, we created the logic for our enemy to attack our player. In this lesson, we'll create the collision handler for when our bullet strikes the player <coughs> or the enemy. Add the enemy bullet strike to the game by dragging it into the project window. Use Ctrl D to duplicate the current bullet and rename the bullets to enemy bullet and player bullet respectfully. Make sure that each bullet has a circle collider 2D attached with the is trigger variable enabled along with a rigid body 2D component with its gravity scale set to zero. Add a box 2D collider to both the player and the enemy, resizing both to fit nicely around the outside of each object's sprite. Open the bullet script and add a public string named target to the header. We will use this variable to ensure that friendly fire will not cause damage. Create the collision handler with a new private void function named onTriggerEnter2D. First let's compare the object that we hit to the target variable we created logging when the collision occurred. Test the game to make sure that the log statement is being called correctly, and then open the player script. Create a new public void function called death. We want to call this function when our bullet collides with our player. Inside the death function of our player class, let's deactivate the player using the setActive function with the parameter false. Next, let's open the enemy script and add the public void function death. In this death function, we will destroy the enemy game object. Reopen the bullet script and let's add an if statement to the inside of our collision handler. If the target matches the object we hit, we want to trigger the death function for the enemy or the player, depending on who got hit by the bullet. We can achieve this by using the get component function on the object of our collision. Now let's return to Unity. Make sure the target variable for the enemy bullet is player and the target variable for the player bullet is enemy. With each variable set correctly, let's test our game, making sure that the collision works for our player and for our enemy. In the next video, we will create the collision handler for when our ship runs into an enemy ship.